I just got my motorcycle license this spring after learning to ride last fall. In this video, I want to share with you some of the riding gear I've been wearing so far. When the weather turned warm, I didn't want to give up my armor, so I got a mesh jacket. It's got great ventilation, though it doesn't fit me great in my small shoulders and tends to get rather stinky. I've machine washed it a couple times and hung it to dry without any noticeable wear. I like the white color for visibility, but this jacket doesn't feel terribly flattering on me. However, for short trips around town through slow traffic with the temperatures in the 90s, I have had the summer tendency to go without a jacket entirely. I'm pretty convinced I'll always wear a full face helmet because I'd really hate to mess up my face. I regret getting a darker colored helmet, however, so next time it'll be light or very bright color. I really like being able to talk to my boyfriend on my helmet's intercom headset. It's got Bluetooth for music and directions, plus another wireless radio for longer range comms between riders. I wear a GoPro on my helmet for most trips, just in case there's an accident where evidence could be key in litigation. Though for more cinematic shots, I really prefer the chess mount or the DJI Osmo for their stability. My first motorcycle pants are these armored jeans by a company called Ugly Bros. They have built-in pockets for hip and knee armor and stretchy panels that make them comfortable for riding. In the winter, I wore thick leggings underneath them and they were quite warm. And in the summer, I'm still wearing them because my precious knees aren't worth risking to stay cool. I did get another pair of motorcycle pants this season. Uh, they're jeans lined with Kevlar. They're hotter than my other pants and since they're raw denim, I'm still working on breaking them in. They're also a mile too long and I just haven't had a chance to hem them yet. I'm considering sewing pockets on for knee armor. I really like my waterproof moto sneakers, which have steel reinforcements in the soles and ankles. They have great traction on oily surfaces and they're comfortable enough to wear all day. After trying a few pairs of gloves, I've landed on these Moto Stuka shanks, which smell amazing and are very easy to put on. They're made in the USA and the leather will only get better with age. My other red gloves are a bit dressier, warmer, and harder to put on. I've put links to the gear I mentioned in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and give me a thumbs up if you liked this lookbook and want to see another for the fall riding season. Subscribe for more videos on Mondays and Thursdays.